Now, CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Of course, grateful for all of our veterans. And tonight we're looking at Tropical Storm Ada centered right there. The center shows up very nicely on the radars. And uh, the west coast of Florida getting hammered today. And this flow uh, really piles up the storm surge around the Tampa Bay area. And then this line here, that's that dreaded uh, primary feeder band that sometimes gets stuck over you. We hope that's not going to be the case. But we know right now that it is marching eastward. Now, the warning that wasn't affected, that was allowed to expire at 6.15. So right now, no warnings in effect. Heavy storms stretching from Key Largo up through Miami-Dade into Broward. It's not out of the question that a new warning will be issued if these storms start to strengthen again. But for the moment, the lightning activity has decreased a bit. Gusty winds, but the main threat as we go through the evening here is going to be torrential downpours as this line slows down and creeps slowly to the east. So just about to the, or through the turnpike there, now over Doral and slowly expanding eastward. Going to be a wet night. In Broward, it's past uh, US 27. They're approaching 75 and the rain's going to gradually sweep across the area. Then the question is, does this whole band stall out? There's a possibility it will. And so already a street flood advisory is up, but we could see more flash flood warnings issued since the ground is so moist, saturated, and in some spots still flooded. 70 mile an hour tropical storm moving to the north at 12. There are the tropical storm force winds. Tropical storm warnings in effect through central Florida and the threat cone takes it to the northeast by tomorrow afternoon. And then finally it gets runs into a cold front up there and that's it. It is out of here and all all that moisture with it kind of thins out as we go into the weekend. Here's the way it looked today and uh, starting last night. It was looking pretty impressive last night when we went to bed and then uh, became a hurricane briefly, but thankfully dry air came in back again and weakened it, although there's a little bit of a sputter there going on right now. As the center moves up there and you can see this arc of clouds there, that's that tail, that feeder band that is set up now. And that's what we're going to be watching for. Does it stay over us or does it get just offshore? Models say it's going to be a close call. If it's just offshore, we've got cloudy skies, breezy rain. But if it is uh, to the west, uh, right over us, we'll see another round of heavy storms during the day tomorrow. And then as we go into the weekend, it's looking better. The moisture tail begins to thin out Thursday, Friday, Friday rather, Saturday and Sunday looking nice. Sun returns, just a few showers in the forecast, temperatures in the mid 80s. Also tropical storm Theta out there in the northeast Atlantic, plus a strong tropical wave. Coming into the Caribbean, there it is tonight. Still some wind shear on it, but as it gets farther to the west, wind shear decreases, the water's warm, and the development is expected that would be Tropical Depression 31. Here's our Keys camera this evening. Had some rain and some storms earlier, not looking so bad tonight. Right now, looking pretty good up there. Temperature is 81 in Miami, 82. Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 79 in Key West. Sticking the scales at 8, it is summertime humidity in November. Southeast breeze, no rain at MIA, but the rain's on the way. Feels like temperatures now in the upper 80s to the low 90s, very unstable there. West Kendall getting the thunderstorm cooled off to 75, and the wind gusts have been in the 30 mile an hour range. Could see some higher wind gusts as we go through the night. Much of the country, the middle of the country, is fall like, but up the East Coast, it's unusual warmth temperatures in the 60s. Our forecast for tonight, stormy, heavy storms moving through, gusty downpours, areas of flooding, a low near 78. Tomorrow, look for if that line stalls over us, then stormy periods and a lot of flooding. If it's just off of our coast, then it won't be so stormy. I know, obvious, right? It's just too uh, hard to make that prediction right now until we see that line set up during the day tomorrow. Southeast winds on the water at 20 and taking us through the weekend. Finally, some sunshine and look at a cold front middle of next week. Back to you.